What if I told you that there is a tiny bacteria, so small you can't see it without a microscope, that poops pure 24 karat gold? This bacteria is called Cupriavitis metallidurans. This little microbe doesn't work in a jewelry shop. It lives in soil and rock that's loaded with toxic heavy metals. While most life forms would die in such harsh environments, Cupriavitis thrives turning harmful gold compounds into tiny solid bits of gold metal. So, how does this happen? And can you use this bacteria to become rich? Let's find out. You won't find Cupriavitis metallodurans in your backyard. It likes living in extreme environments, such as soil around mines or metal-rich riverbeds. These places are full of copper, zinc, and sometimes gold in a dissolved form. But here's the problem. Dissolved gold is toxic. If it gets into most cells, it kills them. As a result, most bacteria avoid dissolved gold. But cupriavitis is different. This bacterium has special genes and enzymes that act like a hazmat suit. Cupriavitis has a system that quickly pushes these gold compounds out and changes them into a safer form. For the bacterium, turning toxic gold compounds into solid gold is more of a survival trick the bacterium uses special enzymes to chemically change the gold ions into harmless bits of 24 karat pure gold. The gold builds up inside or around the bacterium in the form of tiny microscopic gold nuggets. But the process is slow. Don't expect a pile of gold appearing overnight. But under the right conditions, billions of these bacteria together can produce visible specks of gold does this mean we can farm gold with bacteria? The idea sounds great, but it's not practical. You'd need huge amounts of gold compounds to feed them, and gold compounds are expensive to begin with. Plus, the process is slow. Mining companies are looking into it to help clean up the polluted sites such as mine waste and water contaminated with heavy metals. Don't forget to leave a like if you learned something new today, and I'll see you tomorrow.